Hello, how are you doing? Uh, so yeah, a little bit of a different setup. I'm hoping you can hear me all right. I'm, um, I've actually just bought a little mini tripod type thing for the phone. It's actually, it's not actually for this channel. I actually have, well, over the years I've actually had a handful of different channels. <laughs> but this, I bought this in particular for um, a slightly different channel where I, um, I actually stay anonymous on the other channel. There's nothing to do with body modifications or anything like that. But um, yeah, I literally only show my hands in the other video. And I figure, just to make life a little bit easier for myself to actually get a little mount. So um, yeah, then I can use both of my hands. <laughs> but yeah. So yeah, I figured why not actually use it for this as well, just to make life a little bit easier. So I can sort of just relax and enjoy myself a bit more. I don't know how I'm gonna sit as yet. It's weird being in the front of the camera like this. <laughs> but yeah. I think I feel most comfortable like this for the time being. So yeah, um, I just wanted to make a quick video. I thought I'd make a little video literally just to test this out as much as anything, just to see how well it goes. But I thought I'd also talk a little bit about the um the plan for the nose going forward. Obviously, I have a how big is this? It's a 27 millimeter tunnel back in it at the moment. It's been empty for about the last, um, pretty much since I uploaded the last video, actually. Talking about my nose. And um, yeah, pretty much been constantly empty since then. And I just wanted to see what I could fit back in this afternoon and I managed to pop a, a pop a 25 in and that was so loose, it was just flopping about everywhere. So I popped the 27 millimeter back in. And this is just about right. It's still a little bit loose. Don't know if you can hear that. But it's still a little bit loose. And um, yeah, I'll be keeping it at this size for the time being. I'll probably, I'll be leaving it empty half a day anyway, just to really help it recover. Because it's still a little bit red and puffy. And I was giving it lots of oil rubs just now as well, so it probably looks extra puffy as well. <laughs> but yeah, so um, I don't know how well you can see. There's a thin spot is just around there bit that's been giving me the issues. I know I've shown it a hundred times anyway, but just in case anyone hasn't seen it before, it's somewhere around there. I don't know how well you'll be able to spot it on here. It's a little bit bruised at the moment. So I'm still being a little bit careful with it, but I thought I'd leave it in just for the video anyway. I don't know if I'm in the middle of the screen. It's really that. Probably made no difference whatsoever. But yeah, so obviously the plan going forwards now is, hello Millie. If you hear any scrapping noise in the background, Millie has been winding up Gwen. Gwen being my old cat. Millie is still going through a little awkward, I guess, kind of teenage phase now. <laughs> where she's just winding, she's winding um, Gwen up. Sometimes Gwen's happy to play, other times she, she just can't, she needs a break and Millie just won't leave her alone. I think it's a little bit of um, sort of testing her sort of thing as well, as animals tend to do. No, she'll grow out of it soon enough. Anyway. So yeah, if you hear any weird noises in the background, you can blame her for that. She's now come over. What have you done with your big sister, huh? You gonna be nice? Let's have a look at this little thing. See how big she's gone. <laughs> this is <laughs> no, no cuddles today. <laughs> but yeah. So yeah, if you hear any crazy noises going on in the background, or if you hear me shouting at something off screen, it's just her winding up Gwen. <laughs> but yeah. So anyway, where was I? So yeah, sitting at 27 millimeters at the moment, and it feels perfectly fine. Now that I've taken out the big jewelry, all the pressure has come off the tender spots and it's perfectly fine. But it'll take a little while to recover, obviously, from the um, the damage that was done. And that was obviously what led to the bleeding and whatnot. And I will be going back up to 28, and that will be, like I say, that'll be where I sit for now. So like I say, it's very much the, um... oh, she's found something now, I wouldn't know what she got. Anyway. <laughs> it'll be so yeah like I say sort of the end of one journey and the beginning of a new one which is nice so obviously I won't be getting my nostrils pierced until after probably the end of March early April there's still a couple of a couple of um well probably best part of two months really to wait still and oh there's Gwen what are you doing madam you gonna cut yeah, I'm gonna show you off. Oh, this is the other one. This is she's six years old now, and she's 
I think she's actually smaller than the kitten now. Where you have to, where you have to? No, I think she's nervous because the kitten keeps jumping on. Her. <laughs> but yeah, so I'll be getting my nostrils pierced. I say probably Aprilish time, end of March, April time. So that's something to look forward to. So I haven't had any new piercings in several years now, and just um, it's quite exciting the thought of it. So that's good. So I'll, um, like I mentioned before, I'll be going to see my friend Preston to, to get that done in Bury, Bury St Evans. So um, yeah, that's something to look forward to. And obviously the the, the new journey. There you go. <laughs> Millie, leave her alone. She's not playful today. So sometimes Gwen loves playing with Millie. Other times it's just no. She's just not in the mood for it. But anyway, yeah. <laughs> Come here, madam. She'll leave you alone if you come over here. Nope, you're gonna sit over there? It's fine. Anyway, <laughs> this might become quite a long video. So yeah, the plan is then to um, obviously let them heal. Now, obviously it's a brand new thing to me, so I don't know exactly how long I'm gonna let it heal. I'm expecting the initial healing just to leave it. Probably, it could literally be anywhere from um, like a nine months to a year, maybe even a little bit longer than that. But we'll see, I'll, um, if anyone, anyone else, if anyone watches this with stretched nostrils, just let me know how long you left yours to heal before you actually start stretching them. I'd be curious just to see what the general consensus is. But I'm planning on leaving it quite a while because obviously you've got lots of hard tissue and gristle and all that in your nostrils. So I want to make sure it's well and truly healed well before I actually start stretching them. And uh, yeah, oh, I'll, I'll I plan on stretching them slowly, obviously. Some sort of noise going outside. I plan on stretching them pretty slowly, obviously. And, um, yeah, I don't know exactly how big I go. I said before, my plan is always to have them bigger than my septum. And if my septum stays at 28, I think I like the idea of trying to get my nostrils perhaps to somewhere around the 36 millimeter mark, 36 to 42, something like that. But um, whether they'll ever actually get that big, I don't know. It might happen, it might not. But that's the, the plan, I suppose, going forward. i say it depends on a few things. Anna may well say she absolutely hates it, and so I won't take them that big. Work might say, don't do that, or you're getting fired. <laughs> and unfortunately, we, um, we all need money to live. So. so yeah, I don't know exactly how big they will end up going or how far are they gonna I'm gonna stretch them or what but it's yeah it's all a brand new chapter but it's all new something new and exciting for me at least so I'm really happy I'm really happy that I'm moving on to a new stage in my sort of modification journey and so obviously I just recently started with the whole tattoo thing as well I don't know where I am it's around there somewhere <laughs> I don't know hopefully you can see that there you go hopefully you can see that all right I don't know exactly where I am in the screen but yeah, so obviously I've recently started that journey as well over the last year or so and starting the, um, the nostrils is another another brand new thing for me to start, which I'm really looking forward to um, actually getting going on. Like I said, I'm actually really quite excited about it. Looking forward to starting something new. If you can hear that noise in the background now, one of my degus, hold on, one of my degus has just woken up and over there, and they're chewing some little chewy thing that I put on the side for them. <laughs> she's, I, think, I, think, I think she's just noticed it. Oop. I think she's literally just noticed it. <sighs> Where are we? Somewhere like that. I put one in all of their cages. I think she's the first one to spot it so far. Oop, the old lady's awake. She's up there. They all seem to wake up at the same time, which is interesting. It might, might be because I'm making noise. But anyway, yeah. Where was I? Yeah, so, like I say, don't know exactly how far I'll take it. Um, but I've always liked the idea of having stretched nostrils bigger than my actual septum itself. So, we'll see where it ends up. We'll see what I can do. We'll see where it ends up. Get a bit of a dry mouth. Back on the alcohol-free beer again. I love this stuff. I really do. So, yeah. Um... So yeah, obviously the only other thing is the ears coming up. You know what, I can't wait to actually get the new jewellery in. Just as, as much as it is for the wedding and everything else, 
I just I don't like wearing plugs with tape around them a great deal. First of all, there's lots of theories that it's not good for the tissue to actually wear the tape long term anyway, but the jury seems to be out on that. But the um, as much as anything, let me just take this out and show you. As much as anything, I don't know how well you'll be able to see, but the having the tape wrapped around the flares actually makes the flares softer. And so they tend to slide about and fall out a lot more when I have the um when I have the tape in. Leave your sister alone. There she is. <laughs> so um yeah, they, they tend to slide about and fall out a lot more when they have the tape in than when it's just wooden jewellery or, or whatever type of jewellery. So for that reason as well, I'm really looking forward to actually getting rid of them. Obviously because my, my job is quite a physical job, I'm moving about, climbing up and down, carrying stuff all day. The last thing I need is these keep trying to pop out. The amount of times they just sort of go like that when I'm trying to do stuff <laughs> at work, because it, it gets a little bit irritating, so I'll be very glad when I actually have the, um, the wooden jewellery back in. Like new or new wooden jewelry back here. So yeah. Anyway, everything's um. So the nose is settling down. It's still a little bit puffy. Still a little bit swollen. A little bit red. Probably will be for a while. I'm hoping the um the bruising settles down quite quickly as well. And um. Yeah, do you hear that? Twenty-seven millimeter still nice and loose. In fact, I'll show you how loose my ears are as well. Actually, while I'm here. This is even this is with all even with all the tape on. There's still a big old gap, so I'm fairly confident when the actual three inch tunnels actually turn up, and they are tunnels. I forgot what I order, ordered, but I'll, I checked, and um, yeah, they are all they are all um, what do you call them tunnels, wooden thin walled ebony wood tunnels. There you go. <laughs> I'm really looking forward to getting those in, and I will be making a um, a little video when they turn up. They're still in California at the moment. I think it said. I've got a little tracking thing now, so I can sit 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 around and watch them watch them turn up. So I'm I'm really excited about that. I'm looking forward to that. So that'll be good. But yeah, anyway, it's like quarter past nine, so I really need to be going to bed actually. It's the um, my last day off. I'm back at work tomorrow, and um, yeah, I get up very early for work. My normal my normal morning routine is to wake up about five o'clock, work out for about half an hour, just sit on an exercise bike or something like that. Or, um, actually I bought some kettlebells just recently, I've been having a bit of fun with them. Anyway, that's, that's a topic for a different day. <laughs> so yeah, I got up literally about 5 o'clock in the morning, exercise for a little while, eat some breakfast, have a shower, and then I have to be, I have about a 45 minute drive to work. So yeah, I can't be up too much later or I'll be absolutely shattered tomorrow. And apparently I'm training someone new again tomorrow, so that'd be interesting. Someone, they have a handful of um, apprentices that are learning everything all throughout the company at the moment. And um, this person I'm training tomorrow, um, she's been on the tanker side of it so far for like the last year, learning all that. And coming over onto the um, the cylinder side of it is going to be quite a shock for her. I have a feeling <laughs> so that'll be quite interesting. Because we've had people move from tankers onto cylinders in the past, and they always struggle because the the, I mean, the heaviest thing they have to move on the um, the cylinder side of it is literally um, what do you call it. Just the hose. And no doubt that can be awkward sometimes, but carrying a hose is a little bit different to carrying 100 kilogram gas cylinders. So <laughs> that'll be interesting to see how she adapts. I'm, I'm kind of I'm kind of looking forward just to that in a little bit of a sadistic way, I suppose. But <laughs> that'll be interesting anyway, it'll be entertaining. Anyway, yeah, I've waffled on and off for now. I will, um, I will show you the pets quickly. Show you how they're all doing. Got Millie down there. I don't know, she's coming all the way down here. Oop, this is going terribly. Millie and Gwen under the table there. <laughs> and then obviously we've got Davies everywhere. But yeah. Don't you play with that, madam, you'll knock it over. Out the way, you pillock. There we go. Anyway, <laughs> so yeah, that'll do for now. Cheer off now. I will speak to you all again soon. Hopefully this, this goes all right and it doesn't look too dark. The lighting in here isn't particularly good. I've actually considered getting some sort of artificial white light just to um, illuminate it better in here. Is part of the reason I haven't been doing a great deal of videos recently is because obviously I get home from work quite late. Now what are you doing? You did today? Because obviously I get home from work quite late, and um, the house, even with the lights on, is relatively dark. 
So I'm actually really considering getting some sort of like white, bright, bright, well not bright, but like a white light. Just so I can do um, a few more videos a little bit later at night and don't have to worry too much about it being too dark. But anyway, let me know what you think of the, um, think of the, me sitting here for the time being. If you think it's alright. Yeah. Those little thingers. Ha <laughs> ha. <laughs> ah. Are you in a playful mood? Are you running away? What are you doing? So yeah, let me know if you think it's alright with me sitting here. And if I'm even in the middle of the screen. And um, yeah. Hope everyone's doing well. Ta-ra for now. I'll speak to you soon. Probably speak to you at the weekend. Bye for now.